Hello and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. I got a real interesting question about emotions involved with this whole mess. And I'll go ahead and explain it. And this happens to many human trafficking victims. But in my case, it's a little different. There's something known as trauma bonding, where you become bonded to a person even though they create trauma for you. And then there's another thing called Stockholm Syndrome, where you sympathize with those abusing you. I don't think I ever fell into either one of those categories. Yes, I loved my stepfather and my stepbrother and Brad Pitt because they were people in my life. My stepfather would, I guess you could use it grooming. I don't, maybe he did have some sort of affection. I don't know. And, I mean, we spent Christmas and Thanksgiving and birthdays together. He used to help me with my math homework. That's another line that Brad Pitt stole from me in Ad Astra. And he taught me to ride a bike. And... The abuse was there, but then the niceness was there, too. And he's all that I knew as a father. I grew up believing he was my father, and he wasn't. He was my stepfather. My mother hid it. So if you have a child, please... Do not hide their paternity. Don't think it's better to tell them later on, because it's not. It's devastating, because then you really are like, who am I after all? So when my stepfather started trafficking me and doing things to me at age seven that I didn't understand, it was all confusing. And then when I got older and he was trafficking me and I knew it was bad. But I couldn't get out because I couldn't leave my younger brother and sister. I knew my mother would not protect them because she hadn't protected me. And so I was trapped. I didn't have the money to get them to safety, nor did I have the custody to take them and I had already gone through the cops and the cops weren't doing anything about it so the only thing I could do was stay put and wait for them to grow up so that he would not abuse them now as for my older stepbrother I always grew up dreaming about who he was and always wishing for an older brother. But after I found out what George Bermudez Jr. was all about, I got disgusted and I never wanted to have anything to do with him again. And I've told him so. There's a sense of grief for the family that should have been and isn't. Because he chose a different path in life. Now as for Brad. Brad Pitt. Is the hardest one to deal with. Emotionally. 
because while I couldn't choose my stepfather or my stepbrother, who I thought was my brother, I chose Brad as a boyfriend and a fiancé. I said yes when he asked me to be his girl. And I said yes when he put that ring on my finger. This created a lot of conflict. Because I felt like I couldn't trust my decisions. And this was someone I truly loved more than anything. And I believed in his dreams when nobody did. And I wanted the best for him. He was being invited to be my family. And that's what made it all the more worse. Betrayal. Because your Prince Charming isn't supposed to do these things to you now, is he? Now I have good memories of all of these people. And I have horrific memories of them as well. And when you hear me talking about past memories that I was happy and in love or feeling love that's because what I felt in my heart was genuine and real even though what was in their heart was deceptive and lies and cruelty I'm not trauma bonded to them because I've put as much distance between them as possible. I always kept distance between them all once I knew what they were about. I put so much distance that I had to leave my house. So I'm not bonded to them. But many victims of human trafficking are. Luckily, I grew up, and I have to say I really grew up in Puerto Rico. That's where I started dating boys in college, because I finished high school early at 16. <coughs> <coughs> and I learned what to expect from someone in my life that I'd chosen. Guys in Puerto Rico respected you. They called on you. They courted you. They gushed all over you. They sent poetry and flowers and candy and really put a lot of effort into a date. Not that they had to spend a lot of money, but they wanted to make sure that you had a good time when you were with them. that you were happy around them. And I kind of got a bit spoiled by being treated in a certain way. And once Brad told me that he had traded me for fame, it was immediately over. You didn't have to talk me out of that. But that doesn't mean I didn't love him. And as for the Stockholm Syndrome, I never had that. Because I was always running my mouth, and I'm still running my mouth, exposing these people and trying to get them put behind bars. But that's something that happens to victims, too. I don't like to hate people. Hate is about darkness. I might hate actions... But I can't think of anyone that I hate. But at the same time, there are certain people that I will not allow in my life, period. And there is no redemption from what they've done. Having to 
turn over all these people and air out all the skeletons in my family's closet. It's kind of embarrassing. But then I remind myself that this is what they did, not what I did. And it needs to be out there so that this doesn't happen again to someone else. And to let people know how this whole thing happens and works. It's one of the best ways that we can stop this. And it's like a grief feeling, even with my mom. You know, I keep saying it. I feel like I became orphaned overnight. But I can't allow myself to be filled with hate. And I can't lie about the past that I love these people. And they took advantage of that love to betray me with it. And it was nothing that I did wrong. They were just very opportunistic. And they probably set it up in the grooming process to do those things. So I have my boundaries up and I only allow certain people into my life now. It's almost like, and I know this is going to sound corny, like old yeller, you know, once that dog turned rabbit as painful as it was. That dog was dangerous and suffering, and it had to be put down. The way that I put these people down is by exposing them, because that takes their power away. Because the more people know that these people are criminals, the more people are going to keep an eye out. And I have a responsibility. To let it be known. And I'm not a violent person. I'm not going to go out and shoot someone or kill someone. That's not me. But I will expose them. And I will share everything that I know. Because knowledge is the real power. There is a very wise man that one spoke about these things, the conflicts of the heart. And the way he explained it just made perfect sense. It put the words to the emotions I had. And what he said was that he had someone in his life that he really and truly loved. But as time went on, that person wasn't good for him or good to him and to protect his heart so that he could love again he had to leave and that just spoke so loudly to me so keep that in mind and realize that these human traffickers play dirty. They use the emotion of love and faithfulness to hurt you. And that's where the boundaries come in. Because I've got a bunch of boundaries now. Legal ones as well. And that'll keep them away. And the reason why when Brad came back to me in Colorado and New Mexico and even in Florida, even though the integration worked deep down in my subconscious, I knew he was bad. And that's why when my friend asked me, you know, about Brad Pitt, 
And they said if Brad Pitt ever came near me or put a ring on my finger, I'd run away. And that's what I did. So don't confuse love with staying in an abusive situation. Do I still love Brad now? No. Do I love the beautiful moments so I shared with him? Yes. Because in those moments, I was being real and genuine. And I was taking the chance to let someone in. So he betrayed me. It's his mistake, not mine. And that hasn't kept me from loving anyone else. Because love is love. So I hope that clears things up. So give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell and share, share, share. So that there is not one more victim of human trafficking. Thank you.